Now we're done welding. The heat distortion has made this uh, top piece that we had it was loose. Now it's extremely tight. Um, this little extra washer we put in here as a spacer to hopefully relieve the um, the stress has it's pinched in there really tight. So we don't know for sure whether that is something that's uh, uh, going to give us enough space uh, now that we have the stress uh, um, heat stress from the welds, or if um, that's not quite enough. But uh, let's find out. Now to relieve the stress and to push this thing apart, added a piece of threaded rod. You can see there's two nuts inside of there. And those two nuts will be used to separate this. They're just going to push it apart a little bit until we see something happen. We have the bolt in here. We've got a couple of note nuts we're going to use to spread it. Put the wrenches on it and uh, just start spreading very lightly until this top part starts to fall, till it moves. Okay, so now took uh, two flats and we're relieved. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. Well, actually, I probably got to leave that in. Put the big bolt in, put the two spacers that we need in the final assembly. Put that all in. We're going to relieve the stress pry open bolt. Now, that's loose, and this is definitely tight. So we've distorted more than our little extra washer allowed us to... Uh, do it distorted more than that, so we're gonna have to spread this just a little bit. So now I'm there at tight. I'm gonna count. Twelve. Okay, so that's my guess. Um, it's an educated guess because the last one they did was the same. So we're gonna put this back down. All right. So this bolt is now loose, and this is just barely loose, so that is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what we want, is this thing to be just slightly loose so that things can come in and out of here without any extra stress. Remember, that's loose now, so we bent it out just a touch. And that's how we did it.